domesticated animals. One for Fifty maimed animals. One for Fifty poisoned animals. One for Fifty anally electrocuted animals. One for Fifty gassed animals. One for Fifty bludgeoned to death animals. One for Fifty hanged animals. One for Fifty skinned alive animals. here from that vegan woman today I want to talk about the announcement made by Gucci CEO Marco Bazzari that Gucci is going to be going fur free by 2018 and I want to talk about how I feel about it and whether I think it's a good thing or a bad thing obviously as a vegan I think it's a good thing Peter have been protesting against this for up to 20 years and in 2017 wearing fur isn't really fashionable. Um, apparently it is for some women because there are still celebrities who think it's a thing, think it's very glamorous to be turning up to events with fur on and you know Rihanna, Jennifer Lopez, who else have we got here? Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, Madonna, Kate Moss, the Olsen twins, Lady Gaga, just to name a few people that have still been sporting wearing fur. And it's, for me, as a vegan, and I think even for non-vegans, um, fur just isn't a good look. You're wearing the fur that is supposed to be on another animal to keep them warm but the cruelty behind the fur industry is absolutely shocking now I think some people seem to think that there's some sort of humane way that fur comes about but there's not fur predominantly comes from China and they take animals like raccoons minks Persian lambs cats dogs rabbits all sorts of animals that anything that has fluffy sort of a look they take them um, they are and fox and they are predominantly caged for fur and these cages are extremely small and you can see when you look at footage of fur farming that these animals are completely stressed and they've practically gone mad and well they have gone mad and you can imagine I'm at this point in time in this in my bedroom um, in the apartment I'm staying in we don't have much room in our apartment and if I was to stay in this room all day every day and the curtains were shut and I couldn't see anything I would go mad because all I could do is go around in circles that's all I have let's just say I don't have a mobile phone I don't have a computer I don't have anything I have no way to the outside world I'm gonna go mad just as these poor animals do because they're caged um, a lot of times they are put into complete darkness so can you imagine you're not just in a little cage with no sunlight getting in you've you're in complete darkness sometimes there can be dreadful sounds nearby that may trigger them to make them even more mad i know i get agitated if you've got something going like this can you imagine you're hearing that 24 7 you're going to go insane and so there could be some noise nearby they have machinery going and things like that and it really agitates the poor animal they don't take care of these animals you can see them they've got welts and sores and their hair their paws have come through the cages and you can see them like just limping so to speak and you see the animal limping trying to move themselves they um a lot of times they just poop through their cage and you can just see underneath the cage there's just piles of poo and I mean imagine that you're stuck in a cage and all you could smell is your feces um, sometimes the feces and the urine is actually in the cage these animals become diseased they're not given enough water they're hot they're boiling hot I mean I'm in Vietnam at the moment and I'm sweating 
I'm very hot because I have to shut my all my windows off in order to film because all you can hear is motorbikes so I can imagine these animals are extremely hot it, they're hot in hot tropical climates you get extremely thirsty in these climates animals are no different they're exactly the same as us and they're dying of dehydration fear um, and these poor other animals are stepping over dead bodies and they're stuck in there with dead cages and of course they don't care if the animal dies because they only want the skin so it is a dreadful dreadful trade and when they kill these animals they either bludgeon them they're just hitting them with sticks or they try and choke them with some metal they put them in makeshift um gas chambers some animals can take up to 20 minutes to die they also skin them alive and animals can stay alive for up to 10 to 20 minutes they actually want it somebody had footage it was a hidden camera of a poor raccoon that actually stayed alive for 20 minutes after he had been completely skinned can you imagine the pain i know when i just i've got a little cut on my finger i mean boo hoo but that hurt and you can imagine you've got every last bit of those little paper cuts and it's just completely ripped off imagine how you're feeling you're in so much pain so much agony the wind would be coming down on you the sun would be coming down on you it would be just so painful and that's how long it can take you, you that 10 or 20 minutes it might seem like oh it's not much but I've been talking for six minutes and 28 seconds if you're here, still here thank you so it is a decent amount of time to be in a lot of pain so bravo to Gucci and I really hope your message gets out not just to other fashion houses but to big name celebrities who are still wearing these items and you've got massive massive followings have your people follow a positive message a positive message is putting out a vegan message that's a positive message but if you're putting out furs okay people are saying well yeah Rhiannon's doing it Beyonce's doing it Jennifer Lopez is doing it it's okay it's not okay so yes positive but I'm going to look at the other side of the spectrum um, by accident two days ago I fell asleep whilst watching some particular YouTube video can't remember what it was but when I woke up as it puts you into other vegan kind of videos I woke up to alligator farming and ostrich farming and these farms are predominantly used by big fashion houses like Gucci, like Louis Vuitton, like Valentino, like Prada, all big houses. And they use alligator because people like to wear alligator skin. They use ostrich because people like ostrich skin. And I never knew this until the other day. But when they pluck the feathers off the ostrich, it gets a little bump. So you can see those real fashionable... Um, bags that you see people like uh, victoria beckham you, i saw her sporting an emu bag she paid a hundred thousand pounds for it so they're getting good money for these bags and um it's because of the little bumps they become extremely fashionable now an emu can live from 45 to 50 years but they're bred specifically for these fashion houses and they're generally killed by one years old so they're not getting their 50 years of life and they're also used for feathers gucci are very known for having their big feathers um their alligators the way they are treated is absolutely shocking they are predominantly farmed yet again in china and they they're put um underneath even like big boats and big places and they're in darkness they can hardly move they're left in next to no water they're left um, dehydrated they put big like um like a pole thing through them and they don't die instantly either so they're going through a lot of pain quite sorry about that quite often 
they also um, skin them alive more things skinned alive and emus um, the same uh, emus os ostriches I saw the same they can still be alive when they're plucking their feathers and things like that out because they're not killed properly there's just no humane way to kill these animals and it's for fashion so this is why I have very mixed feelings on the fur band yes it's fantastic but with fashion something has to take its place and Gucci want to be number one they want to set the fashion stake so to speak they want people talking about their fashion items they want to be leading the way how do they lead the way they come up with new innovative ways to wear fashion so they will probably be using a lot more ostrich they will probably be using a lot more alligator they will probably be using a lot more snake skin they will be using a lot more leather now the leather industry is extremely cruel now a lot of people what a people message a lot of people have the idea that when you have a pair of leather shoes that is all waste of the meat industry but it's not they're two separate identities and leather predominantly comes from china and from india and it is an extremely cruel industry it's just as cruel as the fur industry what these animals go through i i remember the first time i watched it and i was guilty of having a lot of leather shoes prior to being vegan and the shame i felt when I knew what these cows went through and pigs and dogs and cats don't think it's just cows um, what they go through they drag them for days to get where they need to go these farmers and in order to keep them alive they poke their eyes with like little prongs they throw chili in their eyes they don't feed them they become extremely dehydrated they're just dragging these animals through just so they can get their money for them so it's an extremely cruel industry and it's just as cruel as the fur industry and it just i don't want us all celebrating yay no fur through gucci and forgetting that they're responsible for a lot of other mass murder which needs to be stopped and the fashion industry is guilty of brainwashing society that we need to wear animals in order to be fashion fashionable in order to be sexy in order to be beautiful in order to be a you know a celebrity a star to have status all those things where to wear animal products and it couldn't be further from the truth especially in 2017 you can buy mushroom leather you can buy pineapple leather nowadays you can have cork leather and there's also plenty of other fashion houses that are putting out ethical clothing linda mccartney um for to begin with all her fashion items are ethical and if you can look at ethical brands rather than supporting non-ethical brands you're doing your part to say hey i'm not putting my dollar with this cruelty and in 2017 with all the information out there and all the technology that we've got in order to produce other items that are far more ethical cruelty free and sustainable and when you say sustainable it's not in the way gucci said they're now sustainable not having fur what does that mean sustainable means that you're reusing items so if they're using pineapple skins we're still eating the pineapple they're just using the pineapple skins to make leather the same goes with the mushroom the same goes with cork they're taking the cork out of a wine bottle and then they're using that that's sustainable so looking at having sustainable items and most importantly cruelty free because who wants to wear an animal suffering for me when I learned the truth behind the leather industry there was no way known I would put a dead animal on my body because I don't want to wear the suffering of another living being anyhow these are just 
my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you feel about Gucci. Um, yes, it's a win, definitely a win, but let's not forget the big picture. Let's not celebrate them too much. Um, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, give us a thumbs up, and most importantly, love life, live free, and be vegan.